what I'm thinking, just grab this, make it quick, fast pass. I, I hope this one pad, if this technique does work, will last this whole work piece because I accidentally the other day threw away my second piece that I had in the little mixture bag. So dumb me doesn't want to go out and spend more money to buy more crap. Try to reuse a lot of stuff I have on this project or try to make do with what I have just so cut the cost. Um, so far I can tell there is a little bit of a difference. What it does look like it's doing is trying to help, uh, looks like it's kind of removing, not want to say 100% removing the icing, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but it's kind of buffing out some of those a little bit larger scratches that I made with the other, uh, with the other, um, we call it brush. So, if this technique works, well, I think I'm going to do that. I think, uh. That's the game plan. On the other half, I'll use my big brush again, knock off the heavy oxidation, use the steel wool pad, <clears throat> come in and try to buff some of the scratches out. It does make it look like it's looking a little brighter. Like I see a little bit of the area I've already done. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it as well. Like right here, there's like a V where it's darker. I see a little line where I'm working. I think that's gonna be the whole thing. So instead of boring y'all watching me do this, <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is continue on, uh, do a little buffing, I guess that's what I'm doing, buffing or I guess am I sanding the aluminum maybe, but because diamond plate is so rough it tears everything up, so I think I'm going to try to uh, work every little area and um, just continue on, if I had uh, fancy dandy equipment I think I could uh, Maybe uh, make this a little bit easier, but hell, the whole point is just trying to reuse this piece. Well, I'll bring you back on here in a bit. We'll turn you back on right now. I don't know if uh, you can see a difference at all. I do. I just gave it a quick hit with that uh, double lot fine um, steel wool. I see a definite improvement. I mean, let's see if I can get y'all guys. Compare this to this, I think it definitely is an improvement. Why don't we just go ahead and do this other side? Maybe try some polish. Well, as I said, I'm going to take an area and just run it down. Now, I'm finding that this edge is getting hard, to, like it's, it's stained or something. But. So all I really did with the other side is just going back and forth. Now this might be annoying, so you might want to turn the computer down. Try to get along this bottom edge. I see something coming up. Yeah, I'll just continue on the way I'm doing. But that's basically what I'm doing. Is I'm going to work it this way. Then come back. And just run it the other way and you can kind of start seeing this area open up and it's starting to move that way well let me get this other side done instead of me annoying y'all and uh, we'll get back when it's time to start buffing well I guess it's uh, time to try some of this compound got the whole thing done I think it looks a hell of a lot better than what it was can't argue that point now, how I did the job might have be argued. I don't know. Um, normally I put this stuff on kind of thin or rub it in. But, they were also talking about last night in the forums using, um, I guess like foam applicators or something. Since I don't have one, and uh, this is more of a trial and error type technique. So I figured just try this, see what it does. Looks like I need to tighten the center bolt, but I see something going on. Well, I'll be right back with you guys. Oh, what do you think, guys? Uh, 
definitely a lot shinier. I'm getting a little blackness, I guess, a little dark spot kind of around each uh, diamond. But I can't really bitch. I mean, it went from my original state, which is heavy oxidized. I got it down to this, just goofing around. This is what I got this side. Um, kind of see my rag is... Uh, Getting black, that's actually the second rag of the night. I had one that was just a general shop uh, rag I've been using. Just wipe hands, wipe a couple little things. And it seems like, honestly, the more I rub this, <clears throat> the more it's coming. So I don't know, to keep on rubbing or just say I'm kind of satisfied with what I got. And I, I think I understand, like, what some of the guys were talking about. I took the little wheel put it on my corded drill which definitely had uh, more power being that it wasn't dying and um, <clears throat> went over this went over the second half of this little area I was doing then I kind of went back hit the the first part right up here I figured hell I had it going full top speed to keep trying so uh, that was my thing I was just like all right couldn't hurt and now if you compare the two, this is that more scratched up, but still oxidized area. And you got this, um, I don't know, I don't want to say it's a mirror because it's not really a mirror, but it is getting better than what it was. Now I can feel a difference. This is like, you can feel like a roughness to it. And you rub your hand here, it definitely feels like a lot softer. So I don't know, I'm going to just continue about five more minutes, just keep rubbing on it with this cloth. Kind of seems like in a way that it might actually be doing something. Um, keeps getting black on it, so I'm guessing it's doing something. So I mean, I'm not really, I'm not concerned with going more than this on the whole piece. Uh, I think it definitely looks nicer than what it did by far. What it looked like is going to be like this one. I mean, look at that compared to this we went from that one over there that look of just complete uh, corrosion to a little bit shinier which I was happy with at that point but then I got it looking definitely a lot better so I'm not gonna complain I think that would look sweet on the cart so like I said I'm work on this a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna call it a night and I'll finish the rest of this uh, probably tomorrow after work I had to get this on camera. Uh, this is the next morning. I had a little time before work, so I figured uh, come out and just try to finish this little piece up. Didn't really require that much time. Just took um, what well, was this corner of the rag, used, uh, grabbed some of the mothers, rubbed it on, let it sit for about a minute, and uh, just took my little buffing wheel I guess is what it's called I've had it for about six years give or take probably six or seven years never actually tried using it for one thing it didn't work out never really polished or buffed metal before never had a need to so uh, <clears throat> figured why not go ahead and uh, try it out with this I mean had nothing to lose I had nothing invested in this uh, piece of aluminum diamond plate but I feel like for having nothing invested I feel like actually I came out on top here is the original rag after I used this corner I cut it off because I had wet paste on it there's this is what I used to originally just give it um, a quick rub in this side is definitely the worst you can see how black it is this is the buffing rag here's the back side this is what I did um, after that wheel went through and uh, I used that wheel to kind of rub it in real good use that to take off the majority of everything and this is after everything was off this is what I used to come back and buff it and I'm glad that I buy these shop rags in bulk seems like they've actually come in pretty well and handy um, like I said you can kind of see for something that was probably going to be destined for the the landfill or the scrapyard <clears throat> I was able to bring it back you know why don't I just grab a quick clamp and uh, clamp this in place and see what it looks like well there you go 
for something I had nothing invested in, I think it'll add, uh, it'll definitely add a uh, little value to it. As far as just decoration, I mean, just quickly clamped it in. Nothing uh, hadn't bolted. I hadn't even pre-drilled it. It's not even really measured out, but I don't think it looks bad. I uh, apologize, guys. I'm trying to get y'all in view. This is, for me, it's a crowning moment. Um, yeah, it might sound kind of retarded, and you're like, what, what do you mean? I've been sitting here fighting with this thing probably about two days time give or take I finally got it and what I'm talking about here is this stupid axle club car doesn't make these axles easy to get out if you notice you can see that right there that's my spring pliers this is like the eighth time I've bent them up you have to come in back here on this other side of y'all and get the little uh, giant spring um, spring clamp out and you have to do that using the spring pliers they have to be the long style the short ones don't won't get in there with the brake pads everything on you might be able to take the brake pads off but sometimes it's good just pull the axle which I got to so I could swap all these brake assemblies around spring pliers a long thin screwdriver and have fun once you start work, once you squeeze that C-clip, once you can get on it and squeeze it, and it's back here, um, you'll see it once I pull everything out. Then you got to, once you remove that out of the way and let it kind of free hang, then you got to get the axle out. Only advice I found on the internet said with a, with a lot of force. And I finally figured it out, and I'm trying to remember how I just had this. The reason I cut y'all on is I've... I don't remember how I had it. I was just super stoked about getting it loose. I said, let me get the camera on. But, how about this? I'll bring it all back here in a second. Let me figure out how I just had it so I can finish prying it out. There she goes. I had to remember, I can't find my actual crowbar. It's somewhere around my shop. But basically, I just stuck this in like this and just started prying. And here goes the axle. Um, let me see. Here's the big old spring clip that holds the outer bearing in place. And we see the axle itself. Now, the cool part. Um, they say, I guess because I lost fluid, normally uh, the reason I have the catch pan here is to catch uh, any contaminants, oil, that are going to flow out. Let me grab the right socket and let's start pulling this brake assembly. I'm so super stoked. The axle's out, so that means I can replace the lug nuts. I could do that tomorrow on my way to, uh, let me grab a rag. On my way to work, I'll knock the studs loose. I'll stop by, find me some kind of automotive, uh, some kind of automotive lug nut and stud that whatever that's going to fit it. So I'm stoked about that. It means tomorrow night after work. I can do that. I can go ahead and start reassembling. Wow, these things are on here. Well, even I'll uh, I'll admit to my errors. Didn't realize there's a nut on the back side, and. Um, these drums and back in place, everything are on there. Ooh, it'd help if I use the right side. But uh hell, let's go ahead and um let's go ahead and do this fast forward motion. I'll go ahead and we'll take all this apart.
Oh boy, finally got it done. These bolts have probably never been taken off this car since the day this car was built. Um, it's just freaking nuts. These things are on there tight. As you can see by the calamity of every second the wrench was falling off. But this is the brake assembly. The way it's facing now, which is going to be opposite to you. It's actually facing right now. Yeah. This, this right here is facing towards the front of the car. For it to work properly, imagine this is going to be on the um, driver's side. It's got to be facing just like this. This tab has got to go backwards. Your cable hooks here and pulls forward and engaging the brakes. The pads, they're, uh, they're definitely still in good shape. <clears throat> this, I would say, either had a brake job before I got it, or this just happens to be, um, I want to say, probably a low mileage car. Either way, can't really complain. Um, everything looks good on here. All the hardware looks still looks great. So now that um, now that I got this one side pulled, I think it's time to go ahead and knock out the we'll knock out the what do you call it, lug studs, knock them out of the hub, get them ready to be replaced, and probably tomorrow night after work, I'll get uh, started on the other side disassembly and. I know uh, nothing to really change besides that. Axles definitely stay on the same sides because one is short, one is long. So I'm basically almost there. 